everyone, I'm here in my favourite place again, in my library, and I thought I'd read you another story today. At the moment, our neighbours have asked us to look after their chickens for them while they're away. So I thought I'd try and find a book about a chicken. I found some here. I found this one. You might have this one at home about Peggy. I think Monty and I shared that one the other day at preschool. That's a funny one. But this is the one I'm going to read today. It's called Jamie and the Lost Bird. By Claire Jarrett. One stormy evening, a strange bird walked in through the gate and up the path. What's that tapping sound? asked Jamie. Grandfather opened the door. Look, a bird's come in. My goodness me, he said to the bird. You must be freezing with no feathers or coat. Come in. Jamie fetched some towels. We must get him warm and dry, he said. Look, oh, they've put him in front of a fire. He looks hungry, said Jamie. Do you think he'll eat spaghetti, asked Grandfather. Worms would be better, said Jamie. He put his coat on and went out to find some. There he is, with his raincoat on and his gumboots, trying to find some worms for the bird. The bird was very hungry. He needs a name, said Grandfather. Jamie looked around at his toys. You see his toys here? How about Thomas, he said. My father's name was Thomas, said Grandfather. What do you think, Thomas? The bird looked up. Chirp, he said. Where will Thomas sleep, Jamie asked. Grandfather rummaged about in the cupboard. Here we are, he said at last. Not too big and not too small. Well, can you see? They found a box. And he can have my old jumper, said Jamie, tucking it into the box. Thomas settled himself in and was soon fast asleep. In the morning, they took Thomas to the vet. He needs to be checked over and we need some advice, said Grandfather. I've never looked after a bird before. Look, and there's Thomas sitting up in Grandfather's basket on the front of his bike. Hmm, said the vet. He will be fine. Plenty of good food, fresh air and exercise. They bought a large bag of food, a special bowl and some seeds. Seeds will make his feathers grow glossy and strong, said Grandfather. So he will grow some, said Jamie. Oh yes, said Grandfather. Give him time. Thomas soon felt at home. He liked to help around the house. But sometimes he got in the way. Look, he sat in Grandfather's chair. Oh, and what's he doing here on the rail? I think he's done a poo there. Look, Jamie's having to clean it up. One evening, during supper, Thomas landed in the butter by accident. Oh dear, said Grandfather in dismay. I think he needs his own house, said Jamie. Chirp, said Thomas. Later that night, Thomas sat on Grandfather's head. 
Grandfather woke up with a start. Thomas, he said, this is too much. He got up, went downstairs and started to draw a plan for Thomas's house. The next day, Grandfather and Jamie collected bits of wood, nails, tiles and paint. Thomas helped as much as he could. He found a chimney pot. I don't think you'll need that, said Jamie. But these will be very useful, said Grandfather, pulling out a set of wheels. Looks like they're going to build a good house for Thomas. Last the house was finished, Jamie stood by while Grandfather got his camera ready for the grand opening. Oh, there it is underneath the sheet. Off came the sheet, flash went the camera. Oh, and look, here it is here. Thomas walked up and down the ramp, crowing and chortling. He likes it, shouted Jamie. Quite right, said Grandfather. I wouldn't mind living there myself. Look, so Grandfather's made a house and it's on wheels. It's got a lovely little roof and look, they've even written Thomas's name above the door. The next time Jamie came to stay with Grandfather, Thomas had changed. Can you see how he's changed? Oh, Thomas, what beautiful feathers, said Jamie. Thomas puffed himself up so that his feathers glistened and shone in the sunlight. Choo, 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 said Thomas. Oh, yes, said Jamie, and I've missed you too. It's time for a photograph, said Grandfather. Suddenly there was a terrible commotion. Choo, bop, 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 choo, bop. Go and see what's bothering Thomas, Jamie, said Grandfather. Look, Grandfather's got his camera ready. And Jamie's going up the ramp to see what all the noise is about. <gasps> Jamie peered into the little hen house. Thomas, he cried. I didn't think you could do that. Well, I never, said Grandfather. He's laid you a beautiful brown egg. Grandfather, said Jamie seriously, Thomas is a girl. We'll just have to call him Thomasina then, said Grandfather. Bop, 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 said Thomas. And that's the end of the story. I thought today we could go and have a look at the chickens that I'm minding at the moment. It would be exciting if we could find some eggs just like Thomasina laid for Jamie. Let's go and have a little look. <laughs> got some things to feed the chooks, I've got some stale bread and I've got my compost here full of fruit and vegetable scraps and I think I'm going to need my boots on today because it's a bit muddy in the backyard. I'm not sure the chickens will like everything in my compost bin. They certainly like the bread, but I think I might just choose some things to give them to see if they like it today. I know they're not going to eat the banana peel, so I'll just put that in. I wonder if we're going to find any eggs today.
This is the chicken pen house. This is where they come every night to sleep. I'm going to see Jenny next in there today. It's a special house. It has a roof that lifts up. Let's have a look. Oh, one egg. One nice brown egg here. Nice and warm where the hen has been sitting on it. But there's only one. And there's a few more hens. I think they're being a bit sneaky today. Sometimes they lay their eggs in other parts of the garden. Do you go and see if you can find them? Come on. And there's, there's a hole underneath this old tree here where they sometimes lay their eggs. Can we have a look and see if there are any there today? Three! There are two here. One. Two. Now we've got three eggs. Well, we've got our eggs from the hens, so I thought we might make an omelette today with them. So I'm going to take one of my eggs, crack it into the bowl. Remember when we did cooking with Tony and we dropped the eggs? I'll have to be really careful today. One egg, two eggs. I think I'll just use two eggs today. Beat it up with a fork and then I'm going to put it in my pan. The feet, then we're going to put our pan on. I mean, Daddy will have to do this part for you. Give it a little spray so it won't stick. nice and hot and then we're going to pour it in. You see how the egg is starting to cook around the outside there? When it's starting to cook like that I like to put some extra things in. Some spinach in the middle there and maybe some grated cheese. And when it starts to cook, I can lift it up and fold it over. Now I've folded it over, let it cook for a little while on that side, and then I like to give it a little flip to cook on the other side. It's smelling good. Mmm. Delicious. Maybe you could use some eggs to make an omelette at your place. Or maybe do some other cooking. Let us know what you've been doing. We'd love to see any letters or any pictures of what you did with your eggs. See you later.